Okay, well, I was doing a little bit of cleanup here uh, because it's raining. Uh, anyhow, um, while I was doing some cleanup, I uh, came across one of my battery banks. Actually, one that was in the package, not been taken out. Now, I have a few of these. Here, here's another one here. Uh, but what I like about these is they're uh, uh, 10,000 milliamp batteries, which really goes well. It's uh, 10 amps really, because a thousand milliamps is an amp. So it's it's really a, a 10 amp battery, which is not really all that bad. Now, what? What I, what I I use these for multiple reasons. I you know if I want to charge my phone or whatever. But uh, I mainly use them for uh, uh, backup. Backup as in if the power goes out. Our, our power really doesn't go out very often. But you you can buy you can buy these things here. And I don't know how easy it's going to be to do this, but I also have bought bought these things here. Now these have the jack that goes in them, and uh, they're actually a real good idea. Um, you can just place them in a battery bank, and you have power. Or you have light. I'm sorry. Of course you have power because it's a battery bank but you have light so you know I usually have a couple of these uh, around the house wherever and I'll, I'll just take and I'll just put one of them on it and I'll put an elastic band around it and if the power ever goes out I have, you know, of course you can light a candle or something, but, uh, or fumble around and try to find a flashlight and find out that uh, your batteries are dead. <laughs> and tell me that hasn't happened before. But the whole idea is if you have one of these and they're all charged up, I like this one here because it tells me how much charge is on it. Now this other one here doesn't have an LED display but this, I have probably about three of these ones here that will tell me the charge on it so I'll know at just a push of a button how much charge is on this battery bank and I usually I try to keep them fully charged they will run down on time but uh, I can't remember the last time I charged this it was probably a month ago or something like that since I used it because I, I, I use them usually for uh, I have one of those Bluetooth speakers and uh, then I'll have my cell phone I'll listen to music on the Bluetooth speaker off my cell phone so and that's usually when I'm out in the back or out on the deck having a fire or something. That that's that's what I'll do usually. So um, I do use them, and it's good to cycle them anyway. But um, it, it's something that uh, maybe people should think about. It's just so easy to have something like this. I I would have probably two or three of them myself. But like I say, you can, I, I get these things for like $2 at, at uh, Value Village. I actually get quite a few of them here. So I, I have them that are small units that are just like, that's, on, on, that's pretty well my go-to. 
to find the bigger ones. <laughs> this, if I'm in the dark, this this will help me find. Uh, well, will give me light because it it actually just these these how many LEDs? Two, four, six, eight. There's eight LEDs there. Just those eight LEDs will throw a really good light at say you know anywhere from 10 o'clock on when it's pretty dark and and even if it's twilight or whatever you know it'll, it'll throw a good enough light that you can see that you're not fumbling around in total darkness and trying to find something and falling over things running into walls done it so um yeah this is just a helpful hint for people if they would like to uh, they have a, a battery backup system for lighting cheers